See you in the garden. Okay, time for another little uh, garden tour, guys. Been a little while, probably a month, maybe a bit more. Can't remember exactly. Just got some comfrey going there, which I'll move out the front later on. Uh, into bigger drums, so I've got a good supply for my worm farms. Uh, maybe the truck to lead it too, I'm not sure. Uh, the grapevine, where are we? Let me get me self centered here. So it's dormant at the moment, I've pruned it back. But it's looking good, second year coming up. Uh, and this, this little one here is pretty crappy. <laughs> going on with my Osmo. Anyway, that's that. Compost is due for a turn. There we go. Alright. Uh, got some lemongrass uh, that I split up there, so I'm just uh, propagating some of that. It's starting to come back. As you can see there, uh, a few chives. Mint, broccolini, I've started to eat this now. Very, uh, very nice. Uh, what's here? I think these are cauliflowers. So, some in the soil there. Uh, my green onions. These ones are starting to go to seed. Still edible, of course. Uh, my last lot of cabbages, you can see, I can't see because of the sun behind me, let's see if I'm going to turn around the other way. There we go, they've had a hard time because they've been out in the rain, but I will get some cabbages out of them, without time I did a, a slug and snail run, the cabbages are pretty hardy on the inside. Uh, what else? No. That's the big lemongrass root there that I've transplanted. That should come back nicely. More collies here. Uh, a few more green onions. A couple of empty drums. Uh, I've got harvested my turmeric out of this drum. And there's three more on there for the next year. Thyme, rosemary. Now these tats are doing pretty badly there. Something wrong with those. Uh, a bit of coriander, hopefully for seed, and bok choy, red pak choy, uh, that I'm allowing to go to seed. Now the strawberries, let's have a look at those. They're coming along quite well. Some really nice ones there. We'll have to pick them in a minute. Uh... They could do with a bit of a prune. They're coming on nice, and it's look just the fifth of August, sixth of August, seventh, I think. So some nice ones there, and I've got to get a bit more vigilant with slugs and snails eating these at the ends here. So I think they're hiding in this pipe <laughs> and climb up it at night. But anyway. Some more nice ones there. Getting some odd shaped ones, but they look beautiful. Anyway, that's it for the strawberries. So get a nice feed out of them. Let's see what's going on down here. Garlic. Uh, what were these ones? They were, or they are, oh, Spanish Roja. So they're a soft neck, I think. So I'm trying soft necks this year. They're looking really good. Um, and the reason why I've got them planted in this bed, like, you know, just that, the front half of this bed is because of where the sun gets. So they're looking good. This needs cleaning up. There's always something to do. Something to do. More garlic here. Some hard neck at this end. And drums. So I'm sort of spreading my uh, the crops out in different places, just in case I have major failure. This is this is the third year of growing garlic. 
um, just saw a white butterfly. Anyway, this is the third year of growing garlic and hopefully we'll get a crop because both crops before basically rotted in the ground. So more garlic here. I'm going to dig down there. It's not, not really starting to bulb yet. Don't know if you can see in there. But anyway, uh, it's nearly time for a spring feed. Some onions in there, which the the cat loves digging up all the time. Anyway, let's go over here. So just do the NFT. So not a lot going on in NFT. Some of these lettuces are um, really past due picking, but they're they're really good if you let them go a bit longer. You never get them that mature in the shops. Bit of tat soy back under there. There we go. Uh, broccolini up here. Been eating that. As you can see, and just waiting for all the peripheral ones to come out. Here's the middle one of that. Oh, they, some of them are doing better than others. But that's in the NFT. Uh, more broccolini. That one's, that one's due to pick. And cauliflower here. Now I've got potatoes in here. And it's like they're just starting to pop through. Yeah. But I have to pull this down. Okay, Mr. Rooster. Russell, Crow. Uh, there's one that's coming up. But I have to... Come on, say hello again. <laughs> yes, anyway, um, this channel's leaking. It's been quite some years now since I've put this down. Quite some years since I've put uh, this in place, and with all the rain we've had, uh, it gets out of level because it sinks, so I'm going to have to pull all this down and level these channels up. The channels underneath, and of course, clean clean out the back ones there, just let them go over winter. Limes, we are overdue for picking limes, they're going yellow and they're, they're beautiful and sweet, that's a Tahitian lime, they're beautiful and sweet when um, when they turn yellow, we love them like that. So yeah, chilies from last year there, supposed to be a cayenne, and I'm eating one of those pretty pretty much every day, if not two. Right, let's have a look at the onions in the deep working bed. And they start to look really quite nice. A little bit smaller this end, I don't know why. Maybe they're not getting as much sunlight as the others. But uh, yeah, hopefully I'll get a nice good crop of onions this year again. Okay, greenhouse number one. Oh, I can never remember one or two. Anyway, this greenhouse, uh, silver beets raging on. I've been fighting uh, white fire in here. And it looks like I'm well, pretty much one. But yeah, it's nice and big up the end there. Sort of pick it through. Uh, and as the other side comes back, I pick through and then you know start again. So very nice, beautiful big big silver beet. A gorgeous staple in the garden. Uh, where do we go now? More cauliflowers. Of course I'll be uh, picking these and freezing them for the whole year. You can see them there. Oh, if I can get where are we? Yeah, they're coming on nicely and they grow pretty quick too. More broccolini. Where are we? I'm trying to see here. Beautiful 
uh, broccolini right through there. Now I've got my early, early tomatoes in. They're starting to come up. It's a bit of a mixture here. So they won't be long before they're, um, they're uh, you know, starting to pump on. Beautiful. And I've left two buckets empty here for uh, a cucumbers, I think, a bit later on. It's a bit early to get them started. Had a lot of trouble um, getting uh, seedlings started because it's been quite a cold winter, even on the heat mats and under lights. Um, I managed to propagate some lettuce, but not a lot of other things. Uh, and it's been quite unusually cold here uh, compared to other years. Anyway, let's have a look at the um, the other greenhouse. I'm just in the middle of uh, doing all the nutrients. I won't even talk about the lemon tree. <laughs> well, it's trying. Trying. Might give it a good clean up and uh, see what I can do. Give it a good prune. See if I can get it to come back. There's a few lemons in there. Okay. So, in here, the cabbages from the NFT are nearly finished. Go. So, and I've got more broccolini, um, some more lettuce, along there, and I've got all my dwarf tomatoes. They're big cherry dwarfs, and then it won't be long before they flower. Yeah, so we've got uh, the Yukon something, Micro Tom, uh, Pepper Lake, what's that one? I haven't got my glasses on so I can't see very well. Clear Valley, Clear Valley Red. Uh, striped Tomato. And they're all dwarfs. So more Collie coming on nicely. A um, little bit of broccolini up the end. And three empties there. And this one won't be, very, won't be long before I pick it. Let's see how big it is. So, plenty going on here. A uh, lot of empty space in the NFTs. Righto, that's about it. Sort of the end of winter garden tour. Okay, guys. I'll catch you on the next one, and I'll see you in the garden.